Hi everybody, it's preschool playtime again. I've got a really cool book for you that I've been waiting to share with you for a long time. It's called In a Jar by Deborah Mercado. Llewellyn was a collector. He collected things in jars. When he held a jar and peered inside, Llewellyn remembered the wonderful things he had seen and done. He collected small, ordinary things, like buttercups and feathers and heart-shaped stones. One night, the sunset painted the sky the color of tart cherry syrup. Llewellyn ventured down to the shore with as many jars as he could carry. A little girl named Evelyn was there too. Llewellyn scooped that cherry light into his jars. And when he was done, he gave one to Evelyn. Evelyn took that jar home. And to her surprise, it glowed through the night with the memory of that sunset. From then on, Llewellyn and Evelyn collected things together. They collected things hard to hold, like rainbows, the sound of the ocean, and the wind just before snow falls. They collected things you might not think would even fit in a jar, but somehow they did. They collected the wonders of winter, the newness of spring, the long days and shadows of summer, Over time, their jars filled the walls of Llewellyn's home. But one day, Evelyn had sad news. Her family was moving to a new town. Too soon, it was time to say goodbye. With Evelyn gone, Llewellyn's heart felt like an empty jar. One night, Llewellyn laid awake. Falling stars glittered against the dark sky. He wondered if Evelyn could see them too. That gave him an idea. Llewellyn tiptoed out into the moonless night and collected the meteor shower in a jar. The next day, he prepared a package. From Llewellyn to Evelyn. When the box arrived and Evelyn opened the jar, the stars in the night sky fell around her. She knew exactly what to do. Evelyn collected the sounds, the crowds, and the bright night lights of her new home and sent them all to Llewellyn. And so, when the golden leaves of autumn began to fall once again, Llewellyn sent sit out to collect a jarful for Evelyn. A little boy named Max was there too. Luckily, Llewellyn had brought another jar. And they collected all the leaves together. So Llewellyn and Max and Evelyn are all connected now with something that I want to show you, which is taking a very simple jar, maybe like this one, which is plastic, and you can put stuff in it. Maybe a little one like this that has a little cork for a top, and it's glass, so you have to be careful. But then you take it and you go out and you collect things, whether it be rocks, or if you go down the shore, or if you're in the, um, the garden and you see some flowers, you could put them in there. I wouldn't collect lightning bugs for too long, but maybe you want to put a little lightning bug in there. 
Or even if you have crafts, you can go into your craft closet and you can get out all your little shiny things like uh, glitter and all the little pieces that we have and foam and everything, everything you can find. And here's one that I made. And this is going to be the last thing I show you today. I went down the shore and I got sand and I found this big glass jar and I put all the different kinds of there's even rocks in here too so it's not just shells but all the different kind of shells that I could find jingle shells and all sorts of oyster shells and sorts of cool fun so that's what I kinda did so I really think that maybe if you have a friend like Llewellyn and Evelyn that you want to share this with you can and collect them in a jar and share it and the next time you see me maybe you can show me those jars too okay all right so if you're gonna do this and you do really take a picture you can always send it to us here here at the library and we'll post it for you okay thank you very much and that's preschool play for today bye bye